Hey folks, Sean here. Uh, welcome to this video. This is just an impromptu video, just doing this real quick, uh, nothing fancy to it. Uh, I'm going to make some adjustments on the refractor to try and alleviate some of the pressure on the lens cell that's causing pinched optics when it's cold. Uh, pinched optics is a common problem with refractors that you can run into, especially when the temperature gets really cold. It's been minus 22 degrees Celsius here and colder uh, some nights, so I'm experiencing a little bit of pinched optics. Uh, this is normally caused by shipping screws that are installed in order to uh, maintain the collimation of the lens and uh, you just want to back these uh, these screws off a little bit. Now uh, just a warning that this isn't something for everyone to do. Uh, if you're not comfortable making this adjustment, uh, don't. Uh, you got to be careful which screws you're actually going to be adjusting because you can throw the collimation off and you don't want to do that. So um, I'm following some instructions uh, from Explore Scientific with regards to making this adjustment and uh, I've been in contact with them. They've been really fantastic about uh, helping me with this. I don't think it's really difficult to do so um, I'm going to attempt to do it myself. I'm just going to back the screws off just uh, ever so slightly and then I'll test it on the next clear night that I have and see if uh, the adjustment helped at all, which it should help a little bit. I should notice a difference uh, but I won't be able to tweak it perfectly until I do uh, probably two or three adjustments in order to get it just right. So um, this, this first round is just an initial adjustment. And I just want to document it, put it out there so that other people, if they're thinking about making this adjustment, um, they could look into it and get some instructions and help from their telescope manufacturer uh, in order to make this uh, make these uh, slight uh, adjustments to uh, to the, the telescope and uh, try and alleviate some of the pinched optics. Now I have had some success in past years, smaller scopes. I was using a William Optics scope that had pinched optics when it got cold and uh, I was able to wrap uh, an eight inch uh, dew heater around the lens cell and crank it full, uh, letting it warm things basically a little bit and that actually alleviated some of the problems with regards to the pinched optics that I was experiencing on the William Optics Telescope. Um, like I said, the Explore Scientific, uh, the pinched optics are not terrible, but I do see them there when it dips really cold. So I want to see if I can just make those changes to try and improve things a bit. So let's have a look at what uh, what's involved here and uh, make the changes. And uh, like I said, hopefully this is helpful to someone else who's thinking about uh, uh, doing this. What I'm doing is I'm taking off the dew shield okay so there's three screws on this particular telescope i don't know what it how it applies to other telescopes uh, necessarily but there's three screws that are holding the dew shield on and i can just take the dew shield off now just like this ever so gently and there we go we've got it off okay so here is the uh, screws and like I said this is why you got to be careful right you don't want to be adjusting just any screw because I can uh, screw up your collimation you don't want that so the screws that I am concerned with are these ones right here so these three screws right here I have there's uh, there's a set of three here and uh, I got a, another set of three down here and on the other side as well so what I'm gonna do is just make a very slight adjustment to these screws. I'm not going to do a big adjustment, maybe just a quarter turn, um, just a little bit, and uh, try to affect some change with regards to the pinched optics. So uh, wish me luck on this, and uh, here we go. Okay, so I made the changes, not too scary. Um, hopefully uh, this does help with the pinched optics. We'll see you on the next clear night. Uh, I'll do some tests and uh, get a better idea as to how effective the uh, slight uh, adjustment I made on the screws uh, worked. Okay, so let me know in the comments if you guys have uh, dealt with pinched optics before. Have you made some adjustments to your refractor in order to try and uh, alleviate the problem? Let me know in the comments uh, and we'll see you again real soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Clear skies, everyone. Thank you.